Yeah, I do smell bad. You smell really bad. Come on. Did you get a stamp on your passport? Stamp is inside me. Not what he do. He says. Okay. Huh? What up, peeps? And welcome to Machu Picchu. I feel like uh, this is like a dreamland. It, I, I'm like in a cloud, like we're higher than clouds. We're in the clouds. I've always wanted to be in a cloud. Dope. We're just exploring around Machu Picchu. And it's, it's definitely breathtaking. You can't really appreciate it in video. I'm gonna capture it as best as we can. But you gotta really be here in person. If you ever have the opportunity to come, to come. This is pretty epic, isn't it? You see it in pictures, but nothing like gives you the real feeling of being here. I know, you need to be here in real life. Would you live up here? In a heartbeat, for sure. But you can only eat Chipotle. That sounds like a dream come true. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no toilet paper. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, toilet paper and Chipotle, that's <laughs> Ah, oh, coach. So that's what keeps you on your toes. Could be. And so we're entering the actual ruins here. This is the little village that they lived in. I don't believe they lived I, up here. I wish like we wouldn't it be so cool if when you visit these places it was actually like going back in time and you could you could revisit what it felt like to be there. I just can't believe they lived up here. But I have you all here. I wanted to let you know that there is a bunny up there. Oh my god, there is. Is that real? Is that a chinchilla? That's a chinchilla. That's a chinchilla. Oh, that's a chinchilla up there. That's our newcomer. We discovered an Inca spider. Okay. Where is it? You know I hate spiders, but I feel okay because it's not going to touch me. Look how this is actually really cool looking. Right. Focus. He's given us all the information about this place. This is a temple that we're in now. They used to do sacrifices. That's sad. Wait, human sacrifices? At the beginning of the era of the Incas. Did you have to be virgin to get sacrificed? The Incas well, they used to do that. Virgins as well, they used to put on the top of the glacier really, really snow cups. They used to offer that to the apple or the, or the guy. Wouldn't it be who? They found one of the... like. The Damn, you know, that means I could be sacrificed because I'm a virgin. It's in that direction. So the Incas uh, north the right one. here. East and west. Oh, shit. Right, guys? Yo, so they got some hummingbirds out here. They're really cute. They're so little. They're so little. What's up, Will? This is Will. He's the Kentucky man right here. If it wasn't for Will, we wouldn't be able to make these amazing vlogs. So big shout out to Will. You're the best. <laughs> yeah, Will's the man. So everyone in the comments, write something nice about Will, because I guarantee he's gonna read every single one of them. I guarantee it. He will. <laughs> all right. So we explored all of Machu Picchu, and what I could say about it is. The photos and the videos that you're watching, you can't experience it like that. It's like 
it's like have not even. To be here. Yeah, it's almost like the atmosphere is what makes it so cool. Like the f air is so fresh. The it's so peaceful and quiet here. You can't experience it through the videos. So with that being said, we're about to just chill and enjoy it. <laughs> Let's just chill and enjoy this. That's it. Machu Picchu has been conquered by PVP and John. Good job, John. Hopefully the video came out cool. John's been doing all the hand drone shots with this little rig right here. Look at that thing. It's like a snake. Get to meet up with the rest of the group and head back down to the hotel, I guess. And then we're heading back to Cusco. And that's pretty much the trip, I think. What was your favorite experience of the trip? My favorite experience was, um... Cool story, bro. All right, cool, dude. Evan, <laughs> how about you, bro? I liked the mountains. That's what I I just really liked the mountains. Yeah, nice, bro. Mountain. John, what about you, bro? I liked, uh, every time I was able to put my bag down. That was like, oh, like, God, like, yes. <laughs> all right, well, I was just going to say, I thought it was very cool to learn all about the Incas. And it's very interesting and beautiful country and yeah that was the correct answer bam <laughs> dab on him oh. dab on him oh. Oh. it's in there pop get it get it out of there get it out get it did you find it no okay <laughs> bye bye machu picchu it was fun How much for the kitten? Academy, and we wanted to make sure that you check that out. Plus, if you really enjoy travel vlogs, he is the king of travel vlogs right here. He's the one that taught me everything I know about filming vlogs and, and traveling and making cool montages. I was influenced by Louis originally. If you go way back to like, like Australia, even yeah, that was that was a fun trip. Yeah, like he was vlogging a certain way. I'm like, whoa, dude, I want to get my game up like that. So shout out Louis, he's the OG. He's the one that taught me everything I know. Follow him on his uh, YouTube link in the description. We're rolling out of Machu Picchu. It was amazing. Whoa! Ah. <laughs> I got Gina's bag because she has a nose full of blood and tissue. This is embarrassing, guys. We're hopping on the train and we're heading out of here. So let's go. Oh my god, oh my god. I'm gonna miss it. It was fun. Kill time on the train. We're playing this heads up game. Gina's up. They gotta act out. Oh wow. Pass. Yeah, pass. Pass. Yes. You guys play along with Gina. Um, oh, oh my gosh, come on. Shot put. Oh my oh, gosh. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what? Box window, open door. Uh, hammer. Yes. Yes. Here, back in Cusco. Is that where we are? We're in the jungle. And then we got a two and a half hour drive to Cusco. You are being serious, aren't you? Here, Allie the dog whisperer. Here we go again. Allie's always got groups of dogs around her. Alright, so now we have a two hour bus ride and then we are finally back to the hotel. I'm being peace. I'm afraid to sleep on the bus though because you know what happens on the bus. We pranked it.